All right, for these problems, the numbers that we're approaching here, if I try and plug those in directly, I'm gonna be dividing by zero. And there's nothing I can do algebraically to fix that. No matter what, if I plug one in directly, I'm gonna be dividing by zero. Now, these are one-sided limits. This one is approaching one from the positive side. This is approaching zero from the left-hand side. What I wanna do for these problems is pick a number that's very, very close to one, but just slightly larger than that. And then down here, I'll pick a number slightly less than zero. Now I wanna pick a number pretty close to zero, but just slightly less than that. I'll plug it in and I'll see what kind of number I get. And that's gonna tell me something, what kind of number it's gonna be approaching. For these kind of numbers, they're gonna be approaching either infinity or negative infinity. We have to choose which one based on our test number that we're gonna plug in here. So for this one, we're gonna let x equal a number slightly larger than one. So I'm gonna use 1.0001. Could I use more or less zeros there? Yeah, I could, but I'm gonna pick something like this using the three zeros there will be enough uh, for me to tell what's happening, if it's gonna to go to positive infinity or negative infinity. So I'm gonna plug this in. Now notice, again, I'm using a number positive, so I don't wanna use 0.999 because that would be something less than one. I wanna look at this so it's from the positive side, so that's why I gotta use uh, somewhere slightly larger than, than one. I'm gonna plug this in. So I'm gonna do some scratch work over here. I'm gonna do two plus 1.0001, one minus 1.0001. I'm just gonna do some scratch work. When I do this off to the side, what I, the number I end up getting is this. So I get a 30,000 and one, okay. So what this is telling me is if I put this one in there, the whole result is going to a very large negative number. That means that I can say that this is gonna be going to negative infinity based on the answer that I got here. So again, it's, uh, the test number told me it's gonna go to a very large negative number. Again, that's why I chose negative infinity. Next, I'm gonna do the one down here. This one, I'm gonna pick a number just slightly less than zero. So in this case, I'm gonna use uh, negative 0 0.0001. Okay, again, it's, it's gotta be a negative number because you're approaching zero from the left, from the negative side. Okay, and it's a slightly, it's, it's, we're almost at zero, but we're just slightly less than that. We're gonna plug this into all the x's. And again, I'm gonna do that scratch work over here. Negative 0 0.0001 squared, and then minus one over negative 0 0.0001. I wanna simplify all this and see what kind of number that I get. So if I put that in my calculator, square all that, my answer is gonna be 10,000, okay? A very large positive number. So if I were to add more zeros to my test number, that means I'd get more zeros here. So that means that this is gonna be going to uh, positive infinity. So the first one goes to negative infinity, the second one goes to positive infinity. All right, for part C, we have one that involves trig. You're approaching pi over two from the positive side. If I put pi over two in here and do cosine pi over two, that will give me a zero. So once again, I have another case where I'm dividing by zero. There's nothing I can do to prevent that. I wanna pick a test number. So first, what you should do to know what test number is, you need to know what decimal that pi over two is. So if you put pi over two into your calculator, it's gonna get 1.57. So I wanna pick something that's just slightly larger than 1.57. So in this case, I'm gonna use 1.58, just slightly larger than the pi over two. Again, it's gotta be larger because you got a plus sign there. If it was a negative sign, then maybe I would use 1.56 because you're approaching it from the, the left-hand side, but positive side, you're gonna use 1.58. Scratch work, negative two over cosine 1.58. Make sure that your calculator is in radian mode here because pi over two would be a radian measurement. Okay, we're gonna do two, negative two over cosine 1.58, and if I put that into my calculator, I get approximately 217. It's a large positive number, so we can conclude that for this problem, the limit is gonna approach positive infinity.